Welcome back to Claudette's Craft Corner. Although my corner is a little bit messy. But guess what? That's normal for me. Um, <laughs> Alright. So I really want to do a weaving project. I have not done one in actually a couple of years. Um, and the uh, fair is coming up in August. So I want to give myself plenty of time to get back in the swing. Um, so I think I'm going to do something simple. Um, I made you just a shawl on the rigid heddle. So, um, and I thought the best way to get back into the swing of it is to do a simple project, um, and do the, um, using my variegated chenille. Um, so I think what I'm going to do um, normally I gravitate towards like blue colors, but I think this time I am going, ah, drop that. Um, I'm going to do, um, this red. I think I've got a couple of these, so I have, I will have plenty. This is, let's see, rayon chenille, big red comb. Um, I think that means combo or something. Not sure. But anyways, um, I think these these variegated are discontinued now. I don't think they have the variegated anymore. Um, and I think I got one more cone here. Ugh, nothing wants to stay standing. Yeah, I do. So I want to use up what I got, and I've got a ton of chenille. So, yeah, there we go. So I have... Oh, wait, is this the same thing? Or is it different? No, it's the same thing. But I can see some of it. It might be a little, maybe a tad darker. Um, yeah, so I might use one cone for the warp. And then the other one for the shed. So there will be some videos on setting up the loom and everything um hopefully i'll start getting to that now the videos are likely going to be spread out <laughs> um that's why i want to get started on that project now so that i have enough time to complete it before august um you know because obviously i'm having trouble with my time I'm really trying to focus on every week making uh, time for working on my crafts um, because I miss it. I have not been able to do it much lately. I've been maybe trying to squeeze in small projects here and there. Um, so this way I will... Um, okay, I have no idea if this is going to be angled correctly, but at least... <laughs> I need to sit down. Um, all right, I think that's angled down too far. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so that's one plan that I have is the weaving. Um, I'm going to do multiple projects for the fair. I still got to sit down and make my list. And um, I don't know. I think I'm going to submit the Farmall quilt for... Uh, a quilting project. Um, honestly, I don't expect <laughs> much from it. It's just fun to submit them. Um, but I know the person I gave it to, <laughs> they're, like, they're like, if you don't put this in, we will. And I'm like, oh God, okay. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to talk to them and probably get it back for that time and and submit that and see what happens because I always get nervous and I wasn't going to do it again this year because the stuff that I'm going up against is, um, incredibly nice. Um, I can't remember if I put a video up, I might've put a small one up of walking around showing the, um, the different quilts and that, that had been submitted, but I figure I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it anyways. Um, it is fun to see them, you know, see my stuff hanging there with all the other ones, but I'm definitely lower on the, 
the quality on that. So, um, all right. So probably going to put that for a sewing project. I do want to try and get a small, uh, bag made, um, and submit that. So I will have another sewing project. Um, the weaving, I'll have that in there. Um, I do like to do a decorated cake or something like that. Um, so my phone's ringing, so I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to continue on. I do not remember exactly what I was saying, but I had to take that phone call. Um, all right. So I have, might have to back up a little here. And there's a cat. <laughs> Of course. Um, all right, so definitely going to do a weaving project. Uh, would love to get back into that. Um, I really do miss that. I haven't done that in a couple of years. Anyways, um, probably going to submit the farm all quilt to the fair. Um, and I would like to do a sewing project um, of a tote or bag. I've done those in the past. I still use um, one that I did and, um, it's great. It's like a, an oversized big bag. I think I've shown that on the channel. Um, I can't remember if I did or not. Um, what I'll probably do at some point is try to gather all of my old projects and you can see the progression of, uh, when I first started some, I actually just found the quilt, the very first quilt that I made on my own. Um, that my son lovingly calls Quilty, or at least he did when he was <laughs> really little. Um, not so much anymore, but he still likes it. So um, another thing that I thought about doing is um, like maybe like a special um, videos on getting started, like a beginner sort of guide to quilting and doing uh, small projects like a uh, placemat or a runner or something like that. And basically just starting with like five inch squares um, and which is actually how I started and just sewing the squares together, learning how to, to set the seams and things like that. So there's, that's another thought that I had. Um, and then probably going to make a playlist special for that, you know, beginner, uh, quilting. Um, so those are the things that are on top of my head to do. I, unfortunately, I know I did a videos, a couple of videos back about doing a fairy garden, um, outside. What I'm probably going to end up doing is making one, um, like a shallow one on a con in a container because I noticed good lord there I noticed that there was a new category for fairy garden and um, I thought oh okay if I can make my fairy garden transportable so I can get it to the fair I'm like oh I could have some fun with that and I'll just have to get some small plants and things that I can uh, put in there. Maybe a few succulents and things like that. And maybe it'll end up being an indoor one. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that I've been thinking and that I really like to get into. Unfortunately, I have to prioritize other things in my life. And that's why I just, I have a hard time getting in here. But last Sunday I did get in here and do some cleaning and stuff. I even got my trash can over here. Cause I did throw a few things out that just weren't, weren't good anymore. Um, some other things that, um, I got to sit down and make a list. Okay. This is what I want to do for my crafting. I want to do sewing. I want to do some cross stitch. I've recently gotten into diamond painting. My son loves doing that. And, uh, both of them, or both of us have been working on, some projects together. So I might do, um, a quick video showing those. Um, I'm in the middle of one now he's in the, um, he's probably more than half through his. Um, but, uh, that's pretty much what I have been doing when I have a few minutes here and there is working on the diamond painting. Um, I guess that's it. That's kind of where I'm at. 
I'm hoping um, that from this point on, after this weekend, because my weekend is like really full this week, um, that uh, every Sunday is going to be just crafting. Uh, you know, unless I got some family thing that I need to go out and do that. I, but I'm going to be down here either cleaning, organizing, or just getting things. I want to move things around in here so it's a little bit more user friendly. Um, yeah, like I said, just get some more cleaning done. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at. So hopefully I'm really going to push for getting at least one craft video out per week. Um, and I will be working on the weaving pretty soon. I just got to get all my parts and pieces upstairs because I want to do that upstairs. Um, the sewing, I will get to that eventually. I actually have some, uh, five inch squares, a charm pack right here. Um, this was actually a quilt from Missouri Star, so I haven't decided if I'm going to work on this applique one that's more involved so I forgot to um I've got to really wrap my head around that one because I've not done one like that before um so yeah please like and subscribe I promise <laughs> there will be some better content coming up um there kind of has to be because if I want to put things into the fair I gotta get cracking at this stuff um, you know, comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.